Hello Libra, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you. I'm going to see what messages come out for you. I have no theme in mind and I didn't get any messages prior to your reading. So let's see what comes out. I'm hearing it's a surprise. Okay. For some of you, there's something coming in for you that it was purposefully, I'm hearing hidden, masked, or something, um, so that you wouldn't see it coming. Okay, so some of you might be sensing that something is going to happen, or you feel, yeah, you feel like something's going to happen, or... There's something that right before it arrives, you're not going to see it coming. It's a surprise. Okay. see what comes out for you now. What messages do we have for Libra? You're like without something now, but you're like going to have it. And it's like, it's like, it feels like it's so far away, but it's actually not. Like your guides know something is coming, but for some reason it's being hidden from you. Look at this. The tower. It's shocking. I'm definitely going to continue getting more details, but your guides are like pumped for it. <laughs> okay, Scorpio energy with the tower. You can have important Scorpio placements. We have a king of pentacles here. Okay. Okay, so this is either, okay, for some of you this is someone, this is a person, for some of you this, that you're taking on this King of Pentacles energy where you're getting some like success in business, you're starting a business, your business is doing really well. For some of you you're just getting a lot of money for some reason. And for some of you, the King of Pentacles, very committed masculine energy. So this is something that either is going to require you taking on responsibilities, new responsibilities, new energies, increases of, of energy. So you're getting upgraded, some, something's getting upgraded. Or you're manifesting someone who is um, wants to be committed to you, who's very committed. I'm hearing very grounded. Okay, it could be a Taurus. It could be a Scorpio. I'm hearing somebody wants to make you an offer. Okay, show me more. For some of you, this person smokes weed. This person that you're manifesting. This person is, I'm hearing, zen. <laughs> this person is very calm, very grounded. Um, they're responsible, they're reliable. They're protective, I'm hearing. Thoughtful. They remember things. Okay, you say them, they remember them. For some of you, I'm hearing you're getting zapped with love. Okay, that's for some of you. Some of you, yeah. You're, you're catching feelings, but it's intense. Okay, show me more. The star, okay. Aquarius energy. There could be something about Aquarius. I was going to say Aquarius earlier. Um, this person, I don't think this person is a sun sign Aquarius. This person could be, have a different Aquarius placement. Um, for some of you, 
Okay, for some of you, your business is taking off. Like this rocket. Here. Your business is taking off. For some of you, you're getting a lot of publicity. You're getting a lot of attention for some reason. Something goes viral. For some of you, you might be doing something on TikTok. For some of you, there's someone... Someone is jealous of something. Okay. That's not for all of you. Um, for some of you, you have the support of the planets, okay? Or you're in alignment, like you work with the planets, or you're doing something. You could be doing something with the moon. For some of you, there's something about star seeds. For some of you, you could work with different, you know, um, aliens, okay? Some of you, some of you work with Pleiadians, okay? It's not for everyone. Some of you, I'm picking that up there. Okay. Um, yeah, you're, okay. You're getting an opportunity in business. We have the tower, which is 16, breaking down to 7, and then the star breaking down to 8, because it's the number 17. Also 16, 17. Progression with something. Um, but yeah, you're getting an opportunity in business. You're getting a lot of options in business. For some of you, you're going to have a lot of options about where you put your money because because you have a lot of money? Okay. Alright. Show me more. You're working in alignment with your Jupiter sign. Okay. So if you didn't know, your Jupiter sign is literally basically your guide to how you gain, um, I'm hearing fluid prosperity, but how you gain um, consistent prosperity in your life. So your Jupiter sign, if you're following along with your Jupiter sign, your Jupiter sign tells you where you're going to have the most luck, where you're going to have the most prosperity. And if you're in alignment with your Jupiter sign, if you're, if you pay attention to your Jupiter sign, then um, you're rewarded for that by Jupiter. The moon. Stop it. It's number 18. Stop it. Wow. The progression. Gorgeous. Some of you are working with the moon. Look at that wink. In this, this card, is, especially in this deck, but the moon always says to me, it's secret. It's hidden. Something's hidden. Something's secret. There's something being hidden from you. There's something exciting happening for you that's, for some reason, I'm hearing they don't want you to know about it yet, or they don't want you to see it coming. Okay. Hopes and dreams. Dreams. Your dreams are coming true. It's shocking. Or you saw something in a dream. I'm hearing prophecy. You predicted something. Let's get some hearts. Just, just a few, just a few. Wow, blessing. Just a few. Too many white ones. I love colored ones. All right, that's good. I said just a few. Get the time. Okay, so we got. Blessing. This is about holding back. Holding back a blessing. Alright, money spells. Money spells and spell work? Really? Okay, some of you, if you did a spell, it worked. Business idea. Some sort of business opportunity that you're coming into. Ooh. For some of you, someone was doing work against your money. Stop. 
Okay, <laughs> so we got manipulation. The truth will always be revealed. So manipulation is getting revealed. And we also got return to sender. Yeah. Yep. Okay. What else do we have? Divination. Okay, romance. Um, divination. For some of you, someone was trying to mess with your romance and your divination and your spiritual connection. Um, for some of you, something about air signs, um, but also Aquarius energy. There's something with Aquarius energy with you. And we got music. For some of you, you receive a lot of messages through music. For some of you are in the profession of music. You make music. For some of you, um, there was people or an energy working um, against you and working to manipulate a spiritual connection you have with someone. Um, also with your higher self. Okay, so... But the truth will always be revealed, and if this is not resonating, don't make it resonate. You know, don't manifest it. But um, for some of you, this this is what it is, okay? It's what's coming out, so it is what it is. All right, let's get some messages. Libra. What do we have for Libra? More messages for Libra, please. Let's get some specific messages for Libra, please. Ooh. The Lovers. Some of you, you're in a very um, divine connection with somebody. Oof. All right, we have the devil here trying to come out. Some of you, you're feeling fireworks. There's the devil speaking out. Okay, Capricorn energy. High priestess under that, Pisces. Um, some of you, there's, I'm hearing something about fireworks. Okay, you're going to see fireworks or, there, you're like, you know, like, there was fireworks. Like, there's so much, like, love. Okay, there's something very intense about it, though. Okay, with the tower. That's what I'm getting, like, there's something very intense about this romantic connection that you're in. Emperor, this is your divine counterpart. Okay, some of you, you're in separation with this person. Some of you can sense this person coming towards you, or there's something being hidden about, about how they want to come towards you. Or they want to, um... This person wants to be committed to you, is what I'm hearing. Show me more. This is talking about a soulmate. Um, also, some of you made, like, a really, really, really good decision in business. The Lovers traditionally talks about a decision... Um, between two. Some of you, you made a really good decision. You chose the right one. For some of you, there was something that you knew you were receiving, but it was delayed. Okay, it's strength. Leo energy. There's something very passionate about you and somebody else. Something very, very, very passionate. Very intense. Okay, this is like your twin flame or something like that. Doesn't have to be. This is just a very intense spiritual connection you have with somebody that it's talking about here.
you have been upgraded, like your strength has been upgraded, your power has been upgraded, has been enhanced, your abilities, um, your confidence, your motivation, this is what you're receiving. Some of you are manifesting very good karma. <laughs> Look at that Nine of Cups. You're getting everything that you desire. Hopes and dreams and wishes. You're getting them. You're receiving them. Actively, you're going to be. And your guides see this coming, but you don't see it. Or there's something about it that's being hidden from you. But there's... Okay, show me more. Some of you are painters. You paint such beautiful things. Yeah, three of wands. There's like, you're coming up to something like, I'm hearing transformative, but the three of wands always says to me, seeing the potential of your future, right? There's something, again, that your guides see that you don't. There's something very important about the number threes. Um, threes in threes, so three, three, three. Also the number nine. Completion. Nine's the number right before ten, right before the actual completion of something. It's the review of something. You're going over some, you're going over some sort of lesson that you learned, or you finally completed this lesson, okay? Some of you, this is also something about your like school or something like that you're being given the means for like endless possibilities infinite possibilities is what I'm hearing for some of you there's someone who's cold about what you're doing because um, they're stuck or they couldn't stop you, you fought something off. Um, some of you did return to sender, some of you, some of you did a return to sender subliminal, wink wink. I mean, someone's going to wink at you. Six of Swords. So, yeah, you're, some of you are moving. You're getting a new home. Or you're moving to your dream location. Okay, you don't see this coming. Okay, why? Show me more. Okay, someone is upset. Or someone doesn't want, to, want you to see this coming. Something was hidden from you so that it could be hidden from your enemies. Interesting. One more card, please, from this deck. Or, yeah, wow. For some of you, you're getting into, some of you, you're getting together with a Gemini or an Aquarius or someone with important Aquarius placements. For some of you, you had a reading recently where it was you defeated the enemy. You stopped them or they couldn't stop you. This person is being stopped by karma is what I'm hearing. Okay, or if you did return to sender or this person is just, this person has manifested defeat. And now you're coming into alignment with what you were supposed to come into alignment with, okay? And for a lot of you, this this is also about a very important divine connection that you have.
meant to be is what I'm hearing. But this is a very important um, connection that you have with somebody. This is that that's what I'm picking up on. So if that's not your story, then I, this might not be your reading. This is someone that you know you have a spiritual connection with them. Um, all right. Uh, where's this? This goes here. What else should I do? Um, let me get a few from here so we can get some confirmations and some more messages. What do we have for Libra? What's the best thing for us to say to Libra? Talk to Libra about. I didn't warn Libra about, but we have fancy lifestyle, luxury lifestyle, capitalism. Come on. Focus. You're being rewarded for your focus. Attention to detail is what I'm hearing. More messages for Libra, please. Libra. Clear cognizance. Some of you, you're very important channelers and you have a very important um, role and you do some form of divination. Some of you, this is what you're going to be doing, especially if you're feeling called to, or some of you already do this. You're meant to share knowledge and channelings through some form of divination. And you're not just limited to tarot either. Show me more messages for Libra. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Something about your rising sign. We got first house and we got the descendant. So, um, what, uh, Libra, what's the opposite of Libra? Aries. Which is also the first house. Ooh. Some of you. Yeah. Some of you. Okay. Some of you might be Libra Risings. Okay. Wait. That's right, right? Yeah. Yes. Um. Some of you might be Libra Risings. Okay, so there's something about Aries Risings. Someone's really attracted to your face. Okay. Um, we got Bloody Valentine by Machine Gun Kelly. Um, so you can listen to the song and get some messages from the lyrics or whatever you desire, but I have some written down, so um, I'm only going to read a few. I know I've got to go, but I might just miss the flight. I can't stay forever. Let's play pretend. Okay, some for some of you, someone's like astral traveling to you. They're visiting you. In my head, I'm laying naked with you. In my head, I'm ready to die holding your hand. I can't hide how I feel about you. I'd give up everything tonight if I could just have you be mine.
something so important about Aquarius for you. I don't know what the hell, why it needs, why it needs to be like mentioned so many times. Some of you, you really need to look at where you have Aquarius in your birth chart and like read it, like reread it. Even if you've read it before, reread it or look it, look it up somewhere else or look in a different book or something. I don't know why I'm being like reminded of Aquarius so much in this reading. There's some sort of obstacle in the way of you and somebody else coming together. For some of you, this is because of an Aquarius? Okay. That's not for everyone. dealing for someone for yeah maybe for one of you for some of you you're dealing with somebody else who's very psychic or somebody gets messages about you hmm. we have a moon sign coming out here no one compares to your energy you are the one but I'm gonna put it back because it didn't come out completely we have unfinished business Reconnecting with someone from your past, ghosted, left behind. There's some sort of obstacle in the way of you and somebody else and you definitely have unfinished business with them. Yeah, we have Alive by Kid Cudi. Um, you might want to listen to the song and read the lyrics. We have two songs coming out here. Um, but the lyrics I wrote down are, every time the moon shines I become alive. I'm feeling strange. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. I'm changing rapidly. I feel stronger. More alert. I'm on the move. I know I will find her soon. The one to come and free me from this fate. I'm not too late. I hope she can find the man within the beast. I hope she saves me from the curse I have to beat. I hope she figures out a way to save my soul. To save my heart. This is someone that you have unfinished business with. Okay, crown chakra coming out after clear cognizance. Okay, yes. You're channeling. You're a channeler. If you don't believe it, I don't know. I'm here to tell you you are a channeler. Okay, or somebody is really psychic and getting messages on you or someone's reaching out to a psychic or you're reaching out to a psychic. Okay, for some of you, someone's getting message, someone's getting readings done on you. For some of you, you, you the person who's against you has an overactive crown chakra. Okay. You might want to, you can look into what an overactive crown chakra would mean. I, for some reason, want to tell you that. For some of you, this person is some sort of social media influencer. Um, but for some reason, I want to tell you to look up the, the traits of someone who has a, an overactive crown chakra. Um, but the trait, the what it says is superiority, su superiority complex, separate from others. That's what I wrote down. But I'm telling, I, for some reason, I want to tell you to look it up. Okay, my camera is about to stop. Um, for some reason, okay, this is the last message that I have here. My camera is going to stop recording in about 30 seconds, so I'm going to go into an extended version of this reading. Um, for members, if you join, thank you. If you are a member, I'll see you there, and thank you so much for supporting. Lots and lots of love. If this resonated, I hope it provided you with guidance and clarity. Any info you need is in the description. Also, if you'd like to try to win a free reading from me, I'm going to be choosing someone on May 1st. Just um, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and enter through the link in the description. So, thank you so much, and lots and lots of love. Bye!